I don't know, it can be very tough for comics. It can go one of two ways. I suppose you could be fated by critics and audiences alike, bathed in champagne, rolling in girls, or you could be slumped on a curb reading another critical mauling, drinking terrible beer, eating substandard chips, sobbing, why, why, why? But enough of my own Edinburgh experience. Swing them all, set with me, everybody. Swing them all. One name on everyone's lips this year is Adam Riches, whose crazy character sketch comedy has brought five-star reviews, with one critic declaring him the funniest man on the fringe. Nick Helm has also hit the comedy sweet spot this year. In his show, Dare to Dream, he's either ritually humiliating his audience or serenading them with dark, tender love songs. Do you like jokes? 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 Do you like this is a theme this year, basically. This is that I have noticed, but it's particularly prevalent in your shows of audience. I'm using the word participation lightly. It's actually verging on kidnap. That must be frightening for people who've just read five stars. Oh, that look, he looks like a nice young man. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, really? So it is like revenge? No, it's just, well, it, to be. Pretentious. Oh, do you? You're in the right place, for it. I am on the culture <laughs> show. Not? But um, what I do, and I guess what you do, is develop from coming out there and people not, you know, being apathetic. So yeah. you've got to pull them into the show to do it. And the quickest way to start the show is by not giving them an option. So you come in and say, this is, going, this is happening. You've got to yeah. come out here, you've got, to, you've got to participate, otherwise there is no show. And I haven't got time. And the show's going to happen with or without you. And it's up to you whether it's a good one or not. Uh, well, move over. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of intimacy in your engagement with the audience. Some would say erotic, actually. There's almost oh, a bed scene you have. Yeah, there's a, yeah I think that's been misread. That's been, I think that's it was meant to be explicit. father son. That's meant to be paternal. It oh, didn't yeah? feel paternal when you put the leg over him. Oh, yeah, but that was to stop him from running away. Don't ever leave me, Kev. <laughs> You could be anything you want to be. Anything. You don't need help. You're in the safest place in the world right now. Don't blame me for the position you've put yourself in. Sometimes you feel that comedy's being performed at you. It's, it is, and it's yeah. not really... In, in, yeah. And you're totally separate from it. And that's been, I think, a trend that's sort of carried on until very, very recently. My audience stuff, that, that bore out of just having to do the same thing every day for a month. Mm. And I think that would and has been quite boring to do. Just to kind of push yourself and to keep the show fresh and to keep me on my toes to last a month. It was good to involve audience members in. So you get yeah. a different free song every day. There's a different yeah. element to the show every day and a different torpedo to potentially ruin it yeah, and every they, day as well. What if they don't literally play ball? I mean, you'd never say no. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't ever stop. If they won't get up, that, they are getting up. Yeah. yeah. They are, you, because if you, let, if you let one person by and, and through, then that filters through to the rest of the room. Yeah, it you have, you have, your authority, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you have yeah. to stay in complete command. So even if the remaining 40 minutes is just yelling at this one guy. I want you to look out into this sea of beautiful people here, and in your esteemed opinion, pick me out the most beautiful, attractive female in your opinion. <laughs> I beg your pardon, young man. How old are you to be using that kind of language? And where else do you get to pick a woman? <laughs> pick one. Who do you like? She's not looking at you at all. They're always the people I picked. When I grabbed you, you were looking at the floor. <laughs> Who would you like? Who's the most attractive woman in here? Um, with a fine young lady there. Which one? In the, in the, in the turquoise here? Just here? Why, what's wrong with the one here in red? <laughs> Just kidding. I know exactly what's wrong with her. <laughs> Come up here for me, my darling. You've got it very easy today. You've got it very easy. You don't have to worry at all. You just have to stand there to the side and just look radiant for me. Oh, that's good. You got a girlfriend? No. No? All right. You got a boyfriend? Is he here tonight? Oh, come on. I feel I can get more out of people if I celebrate them a bit more. Rather than, and they do get berated and they do get yelled at, but I think if, if underlying it all, there's the sense that they're going to win, they're going to be the hero, they're going to get a huge round of applause at the end, you can take them, their ego will kick in, and they will go, yeah, all right, I'll do that if, if I'm going to be a hero for a little bit. I, I would be very interested to see what happens next year at the festival, but I would imagine there will now be a slew of, of people doing a lot more audience participation because they've seen you two sort of ignite the sort of public sensibility this year. We should combine, we should do a show together next year. We should, yeah, we it's should. It would be too sexual.
really? It'd be too sweaty and too sexual. It's too much for any person to stand. They'd have to add another star, wouldn't they? Yeah. Six stars. <laughs> yeah. But it reads like a seven. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, that the smell of the Vicks that you applied mid-show to your chest that will stay with me forever on some genetic level. I do sweat a lot though. It does it does block out the smell from my crotch, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it provided it was a nice nasal counterpoint to what was already <laughs> going on. You didn't put any on this morning though, did you? No. <laughs>